pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of Beer Mail here on BAOS Podcast. So, uh, what we got here is an interesting one. So, I had these uh, lovely folks from, uh, I guess it's called Amaral. Amaral? I don't know. It's super, super Quebecois in French. I really apologize if I'm messing up the pronunciation. Uh, they dropped this off at the crib, and they were super nice. My, um, not landlord, what are they called? The lady who runs the office, and they were super nice, and they actually dropped a little bag off. And it was very, very sweet of them. So, these guys, I believe this was a, <coughs> excuse me, their second batch um, that they've made. It's a gin ale, uh, 6.9%, um, and it's actually brewed with all the ingredients that they put in gin. So juniper berries, uh, muscat, I forgot what that is in English, um, coriander, seeds, orange zest, lemon zest, something else in French, and uh, cinnamon. Man, shout outs to Amaral. I guess I would have highly appreciated a... Uh, description and stuff in English just because I don't speak enough French and I really want to rap for Quebec beer so like I'm um, yeah I just don't speak enough to do that so apologies but super amped to try this one get out the trusty brew heads opener once again link in the uh, description to, to cop that all right I really like this bottle too it's like a large um, red strap bottle like this W damn it just smells like gym so from what I could understand what I could translate kind of in my limited French uh on the on the description it basically said it's kind of like a halfway point between beer and gin and i like gin because of uh tiffany our producer and my girlfriend um i'm not really a big liquor guy but um damn uh i found that gin is really sort of started to appeal to me so i was really interested in this beer when it came out damn look at that crazy soapy bubbles like dish soap in there so all right this pours a little hazy nice uh amber not really amber it's not the right word honey colored Decent little head. Hella spices, like I couldn't even like, it smells kind of like one of those like Christmas ales. A little like sweeter. Can get the citrus in there. Oops. Hmm. Anyway, let's give it a try. Cheers guys. Hmm. Damn. That's uh, way more mellow than I thought it would be. Particularly with like, from what it sort of claimed, like some sort of hybrid between gin and beer. Wow, it's great. Mmm. All the spices. Definitely the fruit, the citrus, the zest. There's definitely a lot of zest in there. Great word, zest. Underutilized. Um, definitely a little bit of sweetness. I'm not sure where that's coming from. I can't distinctly taste the juniper berries. Like, if I drank this blind not knowing it was gin, I don't know if I would have picked the fact that it was a gin beer. Um, cool nose, though. Really cool. Very interesting. Like, I feel like you could crush these. Even at 6.9, it does not taste 6.9. I'm really sensitive to liquor. Like, I really like it when the liquor's hidden. I'm down for 8, 9, 10% beers. Just hide that shit. Um, this is hidden really well. Mm. I like those pauses on solo person beer reviews when you're taking a sip. It's so awkward. I kind of prefer doing these with Scotty or, or a homie, but I figured I should knock these out because, like, time's getting away from us out here, folks. Um, yeah, man, I really like this. Lots of intricate flavors. That's quite complex. I bet this will warm up and it'll kind of start, um, I think it did say a serving temperature. Usually they do these days. It's like six to 10 degrees or something like that. Six to 10, yeah. So I think right now it's probably a little nippy. I did leave it out of the fridge for a little bit before I cracked it. Um, even the branding's super cool, eh? Like it's, it's all raised. Like this is all like, um, the white part here is all like shiny and raised. Um, so was the, the word gin and stuff. I really like that. The whole thing is really well thought through. Um, I hope these guys do more stuff, but I guess it kind of like, well, at least in, in this line, this was the second batch they said they did of this one. I, they didn't mention any other beers that they do or have done or plan to do. Um, but you know, I think they were really trying to get this one pushed out. And I have seen this uh, at a bunch of liquor stores in the area. Um, which I thought was super cool as well. So they're, they're out here, they're hustling, they're pushing it. But, um, yeah, if you're ever in Montreal, or at least in Quebec. Can you see this bad boy? Definitely pick it up. Mm. Yeah, it's great. Um, really unique. I like everything about what they're doing. The, the packaging, the branding, um, you know, even just the small things like that, you know, that hand, it was in this little cute bag that had like my name written on it and stuff. And yeah, man, really impressed with them. So 
Check it out, Amaral, Amaral, let me know how you say it, I have no idea, uh, Gin Ale. Um, and that's it guys, so if you enjoyed the video, chuck us a thumbs up, subscribe to us on YouTube and hit that little bell that gives you the notifications whenever we drop a new video every Wednesday and Sunday. Uh, follow us on social media at BOS Podcast, hit us up, let us know what you think of any of the, the videos or any of the stuff we post. We always love getting into conversations with you guys as we've met so many great people from, uh, from social. And of course, if you want to see the longer form podcast, we did a whole bunch uh, recently we've got like we're done to the end of August um, for podcasts so we're, we're we've got some great great stuff coming up this summer so check it out on Apple Podcasts or the link in the description below that's it guys cheers get it in ya.